Hi everyone, this is Susie, and today we're going to be making a orange zucchini vegan bread. These are the ingredients we'll be using. I have some unsweetened soy milk, baking soda, baking powder, vegan cane sugar, orange zest, walnuts, grated zucchini, cinnamon, vanilla, pinch of salt, coconut oil, flour, and egg replacer. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is mix the wet ingredients and I have a half a cup of grated zucchini. It's about one very small zucchini. I have um, half a cup of milk with half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and three tablespoons of coconut oil. And if you are using coconut oil, you can use any other oil, but if you're using coconut oil, make sure that your ingredients are room temperature because if not, your coconut oil will begin to get solid. And then I have half a cup of uh, vegan cane sugar and a fourth of a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And I'm going to add the zest of about half of an orange. that aside for a minute. And for the energy egg replacer, in the same measuring cup that I used for my milk, I'm going to add two teaspoons of the energy egg replacer powder and three tablespoons of warm water. You don't want the water cold, you don't want it hot. You want it just lukewarm, okay? Because if you do hot water, it will ruin your mixture for some reason, because I've done it before, believe me. And we're just going to whisk this until it's well incorporated. So now we're going to mix the wet and the dry ingredients. I have one cup of whole wheat pastry flour, one teaspoon baking soda, half teaspoon baking powder, no, <laughs> one teaspoon baking powder, half teaspoon baking soda, and a pinch of salt. The exact ingredients will be in the description box below, okay? So, oops, just going to mix that in. So this is a great recipe. I love the orange zest in it. I, I love zucchini bread, but just the orange zest. I thought one day, hmm, if I had orange zest, I think it's going to taste good, and it did. We loved it. Oh my goodness. That is just like the, the secret ingredient. And now we're going to add our energy egg replacer. You can see. That's the consistency. Oops. And I'm going to go ahead and add my walnuts. Those are optional, of course. Just going to whisk. I mean, mix that in really well. And I'm going to take a little tiny bit of the earth balance just to butter my baking dish. And this is for a small loaf, okay? We're going to bake this at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about... My oven takes long, like 45 minutes, but check your oven. According to, you know, however long it takes for you to bake um, your loaves, um, that's how much it's going to take. It's not because of the um, energy air replacer. It doesn't change the timing or anything like that. It's just that my oven just takes a while. It's kind of slow. So mine takes about 45 minutes. Okay. That's what it looks like. Oops. There you go. And this is the egg replacer that I use. And it comes with the instructions in the back and some recipes. And it is made out of potato, starch, tapioca. Okay. And this is a, I find it to be a great ingredient because it doesn't change, to me, it doesn't really change the flavor or the consistency of your bread. So if you are transitioning from a regular, you know, standard American diet or any type of diet, and you're going into like a vegan diet, 
um, this is a great product. Or if you are somebody that has already transitioned but you want to make things for, you know, a, you want to bake a bread or something for a party and you don't, you know, and you want it to taste pretty much similar like it, you know, like if it was made with normal eggs and dairy and things like that, this would be a great product to have for those occasions. Um, and yeah, it's a great, it, you find it pretty much at any store. It's not very expensive and it lasts a long, long time. So if you have any questions on that, let me know, but that's pretty much it. Okay, everyone, everyone, this is the bread. I took it out, and this is what it looks like. So let's give it a try. The orange zest just makes a big difference. The other thing I was going to tell you guys is that uh, in my videos, because I don't do what is it called? <laughs> I don't remember how to say it. Anyways, um, I will always leave notes if I forgot to say something or mention something, or if I tried something different, I'll put like an update and I'll put the, the date in the notes below in case um, I did something different or I tried something that I liked instead of making another video I'll just make a note of that so that way you guys can read my notes or if I have any updates in any of my videos so just so you know so anyways I hope you guys give it a try and like it and oh my god you can also add like chocolate chips or anything you know coconut or anything like that um, so thank you so much for watching I'll talk to you soon take care bye